Hi, it's Trisha here. And in this short lesson, I'm going to show you how easy it is to embed a video into your Thrivecart course, digital product, or even a landing page as part of your funnel. This only takes about a minute to do. And whether you're hosting your video on YouTube or Vimeo or Wistia or any other program, it is exactly the same process. You're only going to need two things, a place to put the video and an embed code. So let's get started and I'll show you how to do this. There are four things that we're going to cover in this lesson. The first one is how to navigate to a place to put the video. So you can put it in multiple different places, but for this, I'm going to show you specifically how you can add it to a lesson in a course. Now that course, you may be selling products, other digital products. Um, you can do that in any of those types of products that you're selling. You can also add it to a sales page really easy. The process is exactly the same. Um, there's really, it's not difficult at all and it only takes a minute. The second thing we're going to do is add a block to drop the code into. The third thing we're going to do is get the code from YouTube. And the last thing is going to save, exit and test. This is quite a slow process. I'm going to go through carefully and I'm going to show you step by step so you can follow along with me. And don't worry, if you make a mistake, you can always undo. You don't have to save it. OK, so let's get started. I'm just going to swap my screen and head over to my Thrivecart account. Now, if you haven't seen any of my other videos, please go back and check them out. I'm currently in the section of my Thrivecart seller account, and I'm in the area of where my lessons are created, Learn Plus. Now in Thrivecart, anything you want to sell needs to be created as a either a course or a digital product, and it's in this section here called New Learn Plus. Now I have a course that I'm creating at the moment and I've just released it. It's totally free. It's Thrivecart with Trisha and you can get access to that. I'll put a link below in the comments section. You can just go in and join up and you can go through any of the videos and all the tutorials to learn how to use your Thrivecart effectively. I'm going to use this as an example because I've just created a video to go into the course. Um, this is the Thrivecart success formulas and funnels with Trisha. And I just want to edit that course now. The video that I want to add in is called How to Navigate Thrivecart. And each of the uh, areas of the course, these are all the modules. And I'm going to go down to the Thrivecart navigation. Firstly, I'm going to take a look at the overview section. This is where I would like to put the video. And I could create one lesson simply for the video or I could embed it into an existing lesson. And for this, if you're in the course, you'll see it. It'll be in the beginning of the very first lesson. So this is the lesson here that I've built out. I've put some content and now I want to add a video now that I've done this. On the left hand side here, you'll see a number of buttons. You want to go to the HTML and you just click on this, bring your mouse and drag and drop. And that's it. Then I would go over to my Thrivecart lesson let me show you how this works. Share. I only made this video five minutes ago, <laughs> so obviously no views yet. Uh -huh. You go embed and then you copy. Now, as you can see, 560 by 315, these are the measurements which this will show inside um, Thrivecart. So I'm going to show you how, exactly how this works. On the left hand side here, you have your HTML code. Paste. Done. And then publish. Now, um, if you want to just save that, we're all finished. I want to continue, but I want to see how this looks and if I'm happy with it or not happy with it. So I'll go back to the navigation lesson, to the overview lesson, and here it is. It looks beautiful. It's perfect. Now, let's say, for example, that I wasn't happy with the size of this. Perhaps I embedded it and it was too small or it was too big. It's really easy to change it. You simply go back to the lesson. You go back to that block that you are working in. That's a custom HTML and you go over here and you make an adjustment with these numbers. So this is telling you the width is 560 and the height is 315. And if I wanted to, I could make the width say it was too big and I wanted to cut this by half or about just under half, I might go 260 by 185. Done. And then I'm just going to publish it. Save. Continue editing. And now I'm just going to check and test.
and you can see it's a little bit squashed it's not so great um, I want to go back to the original so I think the easiest way is just to copy the code again and this way you don't mess anything up while you're working on it it's really very fast and simple so I've deleted the original code and I've just copy pasted the new one published and we are done now I did promise you that the other thing that I would show you is how to add this to a sales page so this is the sales page for this course um, actually the sales page I'm not selling anything I'm giving the course away for free and when you go into it, you'll be able to see so we have um, different levels of the page I'm going to go to fulfillment checkout now I'm in the checkout this is where you build it and literally you could call this the funnel builder or the landing page builder the checkout page whatever you like and now I want to add a video so grab on the right hand side the video block copy paste your code again done and here we are all finished how cool is that now if you didn't like that video being in this spot you don't have to put it there I'm just going to delete it and let's move down a little tiny bit and perhaps I wanted to get rid of this picture and add a video instead now this is a really good idea if you've got a really nice uh, video a welcome video that you want to share with people um, to, so they can get to know you and hear your voice and see how genuine you are this is a lovely place to put your video um, now as you can see it doesn't look so great so let's try and make this a little bit bigger and it might be to do with the spacing the padding no not that Oh, video size 100% there we are and now it looks fan diddly tastic I'm just going to go to the end and I always recommend that you save get a copy of the URL and go take a look at it and just see how it appears okay this is the sales page scroll down scroll down and there's the video now um, you might say look Trisha that's a bit too small a bit not not tall enough all you have to do is make the adjustments in that setting that I had showed you there okay um, so I believe we have covered everything embed code save exit and test yes we have I hope you found this helpful please leave a comment below if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them